Hello everyone, welcome to the channel FX Marina. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to receive coins and token to Alipad hardware wallet and how to send coin or tokens from Alipad hardware wallet to other exchange or other wallets. So this is our uh, third video in Alipad wallet series. First one was uh, unboxing and the second one was the wallet setup and this is the third video that we are going to see how to receive and send coins to and from Elipal wallet so begin with the process uh, this is my mobile phone screen you see on the mm, so this is Elipal um, wallet app I just open this one so when I go to the screen it looks like this because last time we imported all coins whatever uh, available in hardware wallet now we see the screen like this so here what we have to uh, understand uh, when you click this uh, briefcase icon you see uh, FX Marina this is call wallet right this is what paired with the call wallet so in addition to that if you want you can add account as a software wallet that means if anyone uh, doesn't have hardware wallet but still he can use this Elipal uh, software Elipal app as a software wallet so one shouldn't have a hardware wallet or call wallet to use elipal app so what is uh, what is required here is now what we are going to do here is um, call wallet sending and receiving tokens okay so the wallet highlighted is that uh, that is the call wallet what we have recently uh, paired with the this app all right so now uh, as i said before to receive co coins or tokens that you don't need the hardware wallet it will stay aside it can stay aside you can use your this app to receive coins so we will try uh, trx this is trx address um, when i click the receive this is the address i copy account address i just click copy then i will exit from here um, I have some funds in my trust wallet so we will try to send uh, some uh, TRX from my trust wallet to Elipal wallet right I open the trust wallet uh, I have some TRX there so I click Tron and uh, send recipient address I just paste right and amount I put just two just for checking only and next so before sending you have to verify this one the address is correct or not otherwise you will use lose some funds Okay, I, I, I can remember the last two and the uh, first four digits uh, of the address. This is okay, I will send it. Yeah, already sent. So we will go to the Lipal wallet and see how this one, whether we have received or not. Right. This is the Elipal 
call it call it trx right good trx here still waiting okay we have received two trx from my trust wallet to elipal wallet so you can see the whole transactions here before starting this video i tried sending uh, receiving and sending two trx those are the two transactions showing here now recently we have received another two trx so here receiving as i said before we don't need to use the hardware uh, wallet because we have already uh, replicated the address from the hardware wallet to the uh, say, uh, Elipal app so you don't need to have the hardware wallet to receive the coins or token but when you are going to send the coins or token from the hardware wallet you need to have the hardware wallet that because that is the security here without hardware wallet that you cannot send tokens or coins from the hardware wallet because that is the purpose of you are using a hardware wallet if you could send a, if you could send coins from the hardware wallet without using the hardware wallet there is no point of using a hardware wallet so that is the security for receiving part no problem you anybody can send but anybody can send coin to the hardware wallet but from hardware wallet going outside for that feature you need hardware wallet access so now we see how to uh, send coins from hardware wallet to another app like trust wallet so now i'm going to send to trx what i received from trust wallet so to begin with the operation i need the trust wallet trx address so i go here i click my trust wallet address just copy this one then i go to uh, my helipad and select trx and click send so now you have balanced two trx that what that that is what we received now then put two and the recipient address i just paste here so now we click submit and see what is the next process right when we click the submit now qr code is generated and the transaction de details showing here to trx from this address to that address so now this qr code should be scanned using the hardware wallet so without hardware wallet nobody can send coins or token from the hardware wallet so now this is uh, so now i have uh, my hardware wallet in my hand right so if i can show you well right uh, show you like this okay now i have the hardware wallet here so now we need to send the trx from hardware wallet to trust wallet right okay now we we have to open this trx uh, just click sign so now uh, we have two securities here one you have to put the password here what you set up during the wallet setup right so you have to put the password here so this is security one okay i will enter the password i will take the uh, hardware wallet out of the screen
okay i have already entered the password now i click okay okay now this hardware wallet is trying to scan the qr code which which was generated in the elipal app so i have to go to the elipal app and scan using this camera right this is the camera using this camera i'm going to scan the elipal app qr code which was generated before right this is the one i'm talking about now i'm going to scan this one So once scan, once scanning is completed, there's a security notice like this. Please check if all transaction information are correct before proceeding to prevent asset loss. Okay, I just click confirm. So it gives us a second chance to check our address is correct. So otherwise we will lose our funds. So this address is correct. So I click OK. So once click OK, what happened was that another QR code is generated on the Elipan hardware wallet. So now what we have to do is we have to scan this QR code using the phone camera to do that we have to go to the elipal app right now i'm going to the elipal app right like this Okay, now I'm going to scan the uh, hardware wallet QR code using the phone uh, QR. And there is uh, one button written as scan sign data QR code, but you cannot see actually that is in the bottom of the, this window. That, so I have to press that one. Now I'm going to press that one. So. Already scanned and transaction completed. So immediately message coming from the trust wallet. Now they have received, it has received two TRX. So that is very fast. So just one click only. You see how fast is this transaction? It is because it is TRX. Okay. Now you understand what is happening here. First to receive coins that you don't need the hardware wallet. You can use the app to receive any coins or tokens to the elipal hardware wallet but to send from hardware wallet you require two securities to complete first security is that you have to <coughs> enter the password the second one is you have to scan the qr code which was generated on the hardware wallet so this is the security that we are looking for our coins for our assets so i think this elipal is giving the maximum protection for your coins that uh, one can uh, satisfy with this kind of hardware wallet so that is the video i wanted to do in this uh, third video in elipal series hope you understand and uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you, watch, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.